this video is on binomial distribution and this topic is related to the probability distribution. See, find the maximum n. So, n is needed such that the probability of getting no heads in tossing a fair coin n times is greater than 0 0.1. So, there is a logic here. So, find the maximum n such that the probability of getting, see, probability of getting no heads in tossing a fair coin for n times is greater than, is greater than 0 0.1. See, first of all, everybody knows that the probability of getting a head is half and probability of not getting a head is half. See, first of all, P is equal to probability of getting a half, probability of getting a head, probability of getting a head is equal to half so p is equal to half and what is q here q is equal to probability of not getting a head of not getting a head is again half see we have to find the maximum n such that the probability of getting no head, no head means here r is equal to 0. In tossing a fair coin for how many times? n times. Here n is equal to n is greater than 0 0.1. So, there is a little logic here. See here, the probability of getting no heads. See, the probability of getting no heads in tossing a fair coin for how many times? n times is greater than this is greater than 0 0.1. So, this is the relation that is probability of getting no heads. When a fair coin is uh, tossed for n times is greater than 0 0.1. We have to find the maximum number of n. See, what is the formula according to the binomial distribution? NCR, probability of x is equal to r is equal to the formula is NCR, this is P power R, Q power N minus R. So, for that, if I imply in this, so N is equal to N in this equation. So, here R is equal to 0, P, P power R and this is Q power N minus R is greater than 0 0.1. What is P value? P is equal to half and Q is again equal to half. The Q value is equal to half. So, here q is again equal to half, p is equal to half and q is equal to half. If I substitute, this will be nc0 half power 0 and this is half power n is greater than 0 0.1. nc0, this is 1 and this is 1. So, what remains? Half power n greater than 1. So, what is the maximum value of n? for satisfying this relation. So, if I keep n is equal to 1, see what happens if I keep n is equal to 1 and test. That is half power 1. Half power 1. So, this is 0 0.5 is greater than 0 0.1. So, the relation is fine. And next, if I keep n is equal to 2, see in this relation, if I keep n is equal to 2, this is half square greater than this is 0 0.1. Half square is nothing but 1 by 4. So, 1 by 4 is nothing but 0 0.25. It is still greater than 0 0.1. Again, this is satisfied. And next thing here is, if I keep n is equal to, if, uh, in the next thing, if I keep n is equal to 3. So, in this case, if I keep n is equal to 3, this is 1 by 2 whole cube greater than 0 0.1. What is 1 by 2 whole cube? This is 1 by 2 is 8. 1 by 8 is nothing but 0 0.125. This is again greater than 1. So, this is also satisfied. And the next thing what I am going to keep is n is equal to 4. And let's see what happened for n is equal to 4. So, if I keep n is equal to 4. So, this is 1 by 2 power 4. So, 1 by 2 power 4 is equal to 1 by 16. So, which is equal to 0 0.0625. So, this is less than 0 0.1. So, in this case, it fails. 
so what is the maximum value of n to satisfy this relation the maximum value of n to satisfy this relation is n is equal to 3 whereas if you put n is equal to 4 this relation is equal to so 1 by 2 power 4 is 1 by 16 this value is less than 0 0.1 so we need greater than 0 0.1 and the maximum value to satisfy this relation is n is equal to 3 so this is how we have to solve therefore we see that the required maximum n is hence hence the required maximum n value n is n is equal to 3. So, the value here is n is equal to 3. So, it is also so simple that see here find the maximum n such that the probability of getting no heads in causing a fair for n times is greater than 0 0.1. See the probability of getting a head is half. The probability of uh, not getting a head is half. And see the probability of getting no head when a fair coin is thrown for n times is greater than 0 0.1 this is the relation so the relation is so important that the probability of getting no heads when n n fair coins are tossed is greater than 0 0.1 and see if i substitute in this binomial distribution so this is the relation so we got half power n is greater than 0 0.1 so in order to satisfy the relation, what is the maximum n value? For n, the relation holds. For n is equal to 2, it holds. For n is equal to 3 also, it holds. For it fails at n is equal to 4. So, until n is equal to 3, the relation is going to hold. Therefore, the maximum n value is equal to 3. So, this is how we have to solve. Thank you so much for watching. And please have a look at my next video. And thank you so much.